With just a few weeks left in office today, Washington Governor Christine Gregoire rolled out her final budget plan. In that budget, the governor proposes a new fuel tax and the extension of two temporary taxes to help fund education. KXY 4's Kylie Cruz is live in the newsroom tonight with the details. Kylie. Good evening, Mike. The state is facing a $900 million budget deficit for the next two years. And in order to create a balanced budget, Gregoire is proposing a slew of tax increases to make up the difference. In her final budget proposal, Gregoire said Washington needs new revenues in order to meet the state's moral responsibility to fund education. So what are these new revenues? Well, the governor is proposing higher taxes on gas, soda, candy and gum, in addition to a new tax on fuel that would eventually rise to almost 5%. The governor also wants to extend taxes on beer and business taxes paid by doctors, lawyers, accountants and others. In order, in addition to the tax increases, Gregoire is also proposing to block cost of living increases for teachers in order to save the state $360 million. A budget that relies only on budget cuts does not build the future that I think is right for the people of Washington State, nor do I think the citizens would want that. Gregoire said without new taxes, the state would be forced to close state parks, eliminate food assistance programs, and cause additional cuts in education. Now, Governor-elect Jay Inslee will take office next month, and in the past, he has said he will not raise taxes. Now, Inslee did issue a statement today saying that he will lay out his budget priorities that will reflect on his vision for state government. No word yet, though, on when that will happen. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.